All right, no time to explain, gang. Welcome back, Kings F here. Short video for you guys, because this week is a little, been a little bit busy. I've been doing a couple things. Uh, participated at a local. Um, did pretty well. Um, only lost one game, draw the other one, and then won the other two. But I um, figured I'd do a little short video for you guys, since this coming week is going to be the 25th anniversary Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, anniversary. Um, so I do have, of course, uh, an unboxing coming either tomorrow or the next day to be for the... 20th anniversary duelist box for OCG so we'll see how they celebrated the 20th anniversary of Yu-Gi-Oh um, in Japan from five years ago um, but um, this was a little bit shorter um, I did get a package from Yu-Gi Market um, not too long ago I had ordered a bunch of sleeves because I'm a sleeves whore um, I, well one if anybody's into collecting cards or even playing the game I highly recommend sleeves you should be using sleeves to make sure that one your cards are safe and protected and don't get damaged or anything like that or especially if you're going to be collecting and putting them in a binder you want your cards to be in mo the most pristine condition as possible in case you want to grade them or just want them to look nice for a very very long time so of course always sleeve your trading cards um, at least especially the ones with value if you're collecting if you're just going to be rogue and you have a bunch of commas and really don't care then do you but especially concerning the fact that there are a lot of cards out there that are worth quite a bit of money, um, I would recommend doing that severely. Or if you're going to be playing a lot, just to make sure that your cards don't get nick damaged and all that other stuff in between. But I did order a bunch of sleeves. And uh, honestly, there was a lot of sleeves because of story time. And let me see if I can pull this up really quickly. I might have a pack here. Um, do I? Um, yes, I actually do. Right over here. Sorry. Um, I wasn't... I get different sleeves uh, for the, my multiple decks I have. I at least have eight playable decks, I believe, sitting around here. Um, so, of course, I organize them by uh, different sleeves. So each deck has a different sleeve. So that way I can just look at them and know exactly which deck it is. Um, so one of which, um, let me see if I can get into the camera. I know the light's kind of blinding. Uh, will be the, the Dark Magician sleeves. This one's pretty old. And unfortunately, got robbed blind for them because they're not available. They came out, I think, a couple years ago and I purchased them online and fortunately the the lowest price I could find for them was like 25 bucks um, for the pack which are usually five dollars a pack um, yeah I mean they're older they're rare I get the, the price increase in the inflation of it but at the end of the day um, not only like I think a month or two after I purchased them um, from eBay uh, from at least a reputable person that sells them um, I found them in a card shop when I was visiting um, Ivy Friction in Indianapolis. Um, had them readily in stock, had a bunch of them and they were five bucks and I was quite livid. But um, there are a bunch of different sleeves that they released for OCG only um, that I kind of wish they released for the TCG even though they're the same size sleeves. It's just one of those things is like they only release these in Japan compared to the US, which is a bummer, but also the Japanese get all the best stuff. They get the better card quality, they get the cards first, they get the better rarities, they get better pull rates. It, you know, the, the, the game is much more consumer friendly and valuable on the Japan side than it is in the States. I digress. So they have a bunch of sleeves over there and I've been seeing them online and of course seeing them for fluctuating in prices. And fortunately, Yugi Market happens to pretty much have every single sleeve available from the OCG on their website at really good prices. I think the most expensive sleeves I saw from their website was around 25 or 30 bucks. Um, and um, the cheapest was like 10 bucks. So, and of course, you know, you got to deal with importing and all that other stuff. So there was a lot of stuff that was available from years and years and years ago that if you really wanted to get it, they actually have it at a very good price. So also, if um, I'm, the couple sleeves I'm going to show you guys, um, if you're interested in those, I'll put a link in the bio uh, for Yugi Market. Um, if you're a first-time purchaser, they also throw in a uh, free pack of cards with that. Um, so check that out if you're interested in any of these. But... Um, there's a bunch of other things, and of course I'm going to be trading out because my Dark Magician sleeves I actually have from my Dark Magician deck. One of the sleeves in the box that I have here is going to probably replace those sleeves and probably just leave them just in, in the uh, packaging container. Um, and maybe even for Kaiba for my Blue Eyes deck as well. But, um, let's just get into that. I got the box left here. Sorry, the box is not perfectly in frame because I don't have room on my desk. And it is a pretty big package. I'm going to try to scoot this over and not bump into the camera as best I possibly can. I think my dice are in the way, so let me actually just... Okay, so what all do we have in here? Oh, I also forgot. I ordered uh, two playmats. 
gonna try. I'm gonna just try to put this stuff out on the table so that way it can be seen a little bit later. I don't think I'm gonna unravel the play mat right now. Um, I purely bought the play mat purely because of the fact that it was gonna, it's a collectible item. That's really the only reason I got it. Okay. And I think, oh yeah, the, the big boy. <laughs> and I believe that's it. I'm gonna move this box out the way so I can show more. Okay. I think that's all of them. So, yeah, so I did order uh, two play mats. This is basically the, uh, this play mat, um, it's art designs, the Dark Magician Girl play mat. Um, of course, the art style is a little bit different from the difference between TCG and OCG, um, but this has the card zones on it. Um, so I really purchased this. Actually, you might be able to see a picture of it from the box right down here. Boom. So it says, of course, it says Black Magician Girl, so a Dark Magician Girl. Standard play mat, rubber on the side. So for the most part, the same art style, just not the black parts from the corners. And it has card zones on it. Um, I have this just for collector's purposes. I'm, um, I bought two of them, so I might use one in the future. Um, otherwise, I'm probably just going to keep them um, intact and wrapped in the boxes. Um, that way, they're not anywhere. But we're going through all of the sleeves right here. So first and things first, since it is the 25th anniversary, uh, so they have the 25th quarter century um, logo on these packs, and these are the red ones. Um, I think I also ordered one in black as well. Yep, there we go. This guy, so they're both hollow foil. One's red, one's black with the 25th quarter century um, logo on them. Um, one thing I will give, and I'm going to grab another pack of sleeves, uh, just for reference. I'm going to use uh, ah, my uh, Dark Magician Girl sleeves. So these are the Dark Magician Girl sleeves for the TCG. You can pretty much find these in any official card store. Uh, I don't know if they have them in Walmart, but I, I bought these from Target, so I know Target has these without a doubt. Um, but basically, uh, most of your common places that you'll find that has trading card uh, accessories and Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, they should have these available. These should be like five bucks a pack for uh, 50 sleeves or tournament legal packs. But one thing I wanted to point out outside of these is the fact that these have 100 sleeves in the pack instead of 50. So this has 50, this has 100. And even though these are a little bit on the different on the card protector sides, I'll go in a little bit more detail or show you because I bought some non, some, some basic ones too. Um, we'll just use this one for example. So the Pharaoh and Yugi card sleeves, this has 55. Um, realistically speaking, these two will cost the same, but this has 55 sleeves and this has 50. Um, I always wondered why they give you more sleeves in the OCG packs and then I realized that 55 is pretty much a standard deck. Uh, 15 cards for your extra deck, 40 cards for your standard deck. So in case you happen to be playing a 60 card deck with a 15 card extra deck or any combination of that, you might need more sleeves. But what's really cool about these is that this pack of sleeves will basically cover a standard deck. 40 cards in the main deck, 15 cards in the extra deck for your fusions, XCs, and link summons. So I feel like the value proposition, especially in the OCG side of it, with them giving you 55 or even more sleeves in the pack, so this one's 100, which I'm probably going to use these for the... Um, the um, legendary collection that comes out Wednesday. Hopefully I can get a set of that and have that unboxed for you guys by that Wednesday or Thursday. Um, that's still yet to be determined because my card shop don't know if they're gonna get any in stock yet or not or how many they're gonna get. So they're kinda, they got me on hold until that time comes. But the value proposition I just like better in the uh, Japanese and the OCG model is that they give you 55. So this will cover your entire deck. This one won't. This one, they give you 50. It's good for um, main decking, but of course, unless you're gonna, um, either put your extra sleeves in your side deck, or if you wanted to put your extra deck, you definitely have to buy two packs of these to cover that, because if you're running a 40 card deck with 15 cards in your, in your extra, then you definitely need five more. So that means you have to buy two of these as opposed to just one, while this is very convenient. You just get one pack of these, and boom, you have a, a full fledged deck and an extra deck, unless you happen to play more than 40 cards. Um, in which case, most, um, most competitive decks should be around 40 cards. Um, I think the highest I've seen, unless you just have a 60 card deck that's pure engine that you can just go through. Um, I've seen, highest I've seen in really competitive is 45, but more commonly you wanna kinda of stick to 40 as, as much as you possibly can. But that's just a comparison between the TCG and the OCG in terms of the, the, the number. Also, of course, you can't get Yugi and the Pharaoh without my boy Seto Kaiba. You know, you gotta have the Kaiba sleeves, 100%. You can't have one without the other. Kaiba's probably the best character in the original Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, series. 
Um, you can argue me with that, even though the man has never beaten the Pharaoh legitly um, or Yugi at that. It's just, I mean, he's just that dude. And then I got these two guys. These are really cool. So these are basically, I can say another variation of Yugi and Kaiba, but these are 20th anniversary. So they must have released these around the 20th, uh, five years ago, the 20th anniversary. But these ones are cool. So this is a gold hollow foil sleeve, same 55. Oh, it does say 20th anniversary gold. Boom. I just can't read. Um, but this one is nice because this actually has like the Millennium Puzzle. Um, and it looks like it has a Millennium Eye in them. So uh, the card, so like a very yu gi -Oh theme um, icon pack. And then, of course, here's a silver one. Same thing, but this has the Kaiba Corp logo on it instead. So same thing, but Kaiba's logo. So basically a Yugi and a Kaiba in the gold foil. I'm probably going to use these um, for my Dark Magician deck and then these for my Kaiba deck now because I use the Dark Magicians combined um, for my Dark Magician deck and I have a Kaiba Corp logo sleeve. Um, do I have one of those readily available that I can pull? I think I do, yes. Um, this Kaiba Corp logo sleeve Clearly, you can see a blue eyes white dragon is inside of that guy. So this is a part of, the, uh, of my blue eyes deck. So I'm probably going to switch this out with this because I just like the look of this a little bit better, and then use the dark magicians for this one as well. So not bad in the variation. And then lastly, these are just for funsies. I'll probably use these to just for, for the car collections. This is a two pack of basically the same thing I show. So this is actually a blue Kaiba Corp with the dual disc logo, which actually looks like the. Um, the um the uh, the neuro logo when you open up the neuros app and then of course the classic millennium puzzle and i didn't notice this from the images online this actually has the other millennium items let me see if it has all seven the ring the rod the the key the puzzle the necklace the scale and the eye so yes this actually has all seven millennium items on it i only really noticed the uh, millennium puzzle in the packaging i didn't notice that this had the millennium items but also like you guys can see uh two different sets of sleeves there are a hundred each so basically, it's like getting two of these in one pack. And I believe this was like 15, 20 bucks, if my mind serves me correctly. I can't remember exactly how much I paid for these, but I know it was under $20. Um, and then, of course, these were like 11 a piece. And then this one, I think, was eight. Well, I was on sale for eight, something like that. Um, that's just what I believe I spent on them. I know I didn't spend no more than $10 or. 15 or 20 bucks on sleeves, fortunately. Um, but you can check out Yugi Market for that in case you wanted to, if you were interested in any of these sleeves or if you liked them and just wanted to uh, pick up a pack for yourself, check them out, link in the bio and everything for that. So, um, but that's pretty much it. Just wanted to kind of go over some sleeve um, sleeve choices and sleeve choices um, options that are available to anybody. Um, one thing I do love about sleeves and although probably a lot of people that actually play the card games is like, oh, you know, get your dragon, uh, um, get your dragon sleeves and a bunch of other stuff. I like those. The issue I have with them is that they're just very generic. Um, they, they're great with the shuffle. They're smooth. They, like, they don't stick or anything like that. And they're really nice. They're a very nice product. Um, they're readily available to find in any card shop. I just, I don't like the fact that they're just like a color. Like, hey, you have blue, you have white, or, or whatever color you want. Um, I'm very picky about stuff like that. I kind of like just the look of having something different of a variety. Um, so I stick to the Konami sleeves, unfortunately may not be the best, the, the best for shuffling, but I like them. They, they, they have some unique designs to them. And then also for this up here fact that I do change my decks out, um, and have sleeves to kind of determine which deck I'm using. It, it works for me. I like to have a little bit more personality with a lot of the card sleeves and a lot of accessories that I have, especially when it comes to playing the game, um, or really anything I have in life. So, um, it's a really cool option, but if you're interested in any of these things, Check out the link in the bio for Yugi Market. Um, be on the lookout for the next video, I believe is gonna be tomorrow. For, so when I open up the 20th anniversary to see how they celebrated the 20th anniversary of Yu-Gi-Oh! Be on the lookout for the live stream on Wednesdays. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, we do have a giveaway coming up when we hit 500 subscribers. I believe we're about 84, about 80, in between 80 and 90 more subscribers before we hit that. So please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for that. Um, so that way when we hit 500, we can give back to you guys, our lovely viewers. Um, we love and appreciate each and every one of you um, for that. So we wanted to do something nice for you when we hit the 500 milestone. Probably do another one when we hit 1,000. But one step at a time, when we get to 500, we'll, uh, we'll announce our very first giveaway and do that on that side. Um, and then also be on the lookout for the weekly streams on Wednesday. Um, I believe we're going to be playing Speedrunner is the name of that game, whatever game Eagle uh, was recommending. 
Uh, we'll go over more detail about that later, but Wednesday, 8 p.m. Central, that'll be coming up. So we live stream on Twitch as well as on YouTube. You'll see that stuff in the link in the bio. So be on the lookout for that. Otherwise, King Zeph here. Peace out. Till next time.